What's going on, you guys? It's me, Kiki Solana, welcoming you to BYUSN right now. I'm not going to lie. We've got some tough news, injuries, and a COVID slash reserve list. It's times like this where we need a hero. Good thing Tristan Hodge is telling me who to look to. Let's go. We start the show with some devastating news. BYU football announced that senior tight end Matt Bushman is out for the season after suffering an injury during Monday's practice. This is obviously a big loss. Head coach Kalani Satake shared his thoughts. It was really hard for that moment for our team, you know, the goal now is to play for him, and, but his leadership will still carry on. Uh, he won't be able to be on the field for us this year, but I think we can rely on him uh, being in support of our players. Cougar Nation took to social media to share some love for our guy, Matt, and we want to join in on this too. And wide open, it's Bushman, touchdown! Touchdown for Matt Bushman. Matt posted on Instagram sharing he would be back in a few months. We are wishing him a speedy recovery for his torn Achilles. We're also wishing a fast recovery to Hinkley Ropati. Jake Hatch reported that the Juco transfer running back suffered a season-ending knee injury in the team's final scrimmage. BYU football has yet to release the exact details on the matter, but regardless, we're wishing him the best. You know, I wish I could stop there, but unfortunately, the sad news continues. Fred Warner has been added to the 49ers COVID-19 slash reserve list. No! No! Could things get any crazier? What's next? The Big Ten announcing they're going to start their football season on October 10th? Oh, there's a part to that. Well, that's great. So, yeah, that's not a joke, even though it kind of sounded like one. <sighs> All right. That's enough. Let's get to the more positive stuff. Regardless of the injuries, we still have a game to prep for and play in just five days. Five days, only five days until BYU versus Navy. Let's go. This is exciting. There's obviously quite a few unknowns right now, but I got faith in our guys. You know who does a great job of keeping things positive and adding some light to the room? BYU offensive lineman, Tristan Hodge. If you're a frequent watcher of the show, you know that I've been asking questions to the players to get to know them and the team on a deeper level. So I had to do this with Tristan, but in a way that's only fitting for him. Tristan, I know you are a big comic book guy, so just want to combine that with football for a little bit to get to know the team. If you were okay. to compare one player to the Hulk, who would they most be? Ooh, to the Hulk. There's, a, there's actually a lot of guys I would say would be Hulk. Um, I'd say Kiefer Longson is definitely the Hulk because this guy, when he goes to the gym, it's, doesn't mince words. He goes in, you know, Kiefer smash, and he's going to move some weight. Can we, can we get a photo? 100% little person. Come on, step up. You mind? How about Captain America? Which player would that be? Ooh. You know what? Shannon Herring. Just because of the look. He, big, buff, blonde guy. You know what? He's Captain America all the way. And he's the biggest patriot you'll ever meet, so. What about Ant-Man? Maybe the most funny. Could be big. Could be... Jeez, you know what? That's actually a really tough one. Um... To Ant-Man, I mean, I'm definitely not going to nominate myself. I already know I'm funny. Um, <laughs> uh, gosh, I don't know who I'd say Ant-Man is. All right, yeah. Tristan, thank you so much. Thank you. Full disclosure, audio cut out on me for a second there. Technical difficulties, you guys get it. But I got to say, Tristan Hodge is Ant-Man, yeah. He's definitely funny enough for it. I could give it to him. Well, wow. Okay, I know today was a bit of a rough episode, but like I said, we're just five days away from the start of the BYU football season. 
I'm wishing our team good luck as they prepare for game one and once again wishing our injured players a speedy recovery. Stay positive, stay smiling, stay following us. I mean, you should be by now. Come on. I'll see you guys next time on BYOSN right now. Peace out.